Hello and welcome to Catalon API tutorial. In the last tutorial, we have seen how to trigger the first GET request for the REST web service. Now in this tutorial, we'll look into how to trigger the first request or the SOAP request through uh, Catalon Studio. Now before getting into the SOAP uh, request, we'll also try to understand about the object repository test cases and test suites. Now in the request history, if we see we have triggered the GET request for deck of cards shuffle deck. Now this has been saved as a draft, but you can save this request as uh, the, the name of the request. So whatever name you want to provide, so I'll say shuffle um, cards because that's the that's what this request is doing and then it in the folder object repository you can save this particular request or web service request name and then you can utilize it later into your test cases and test suite so it's a good idea to provide the name and the description and then click on okay so we'll provide the descript description and then you can see in the object repository you have the shuffle cards get request already saved now this is helpful because once you are doing um, the testing or preparing a test case in a test suite then you will be requiring a n number of different methods for the apis that you are going to uh, trigger so it's good idea to save those operations uh, along with the, the different methods and then reuse it into your test cases and test suite. So we'll look that into later. Now this was our first get request for the REST API. Let's see how you can trigger your first request for the SOAP web service. So this is the REST uh, icon so you can draft new REST request and this is for the swagger and for the soap you can draft new soap request or you can import the wisdom uh, import from the wisdom file so we'll click on the wisdom and then we'll go to the link of the online calculator this is the free web service that we'll be using for the demo purpose for the soap request so if you see the documentation here the following operations are supported so it will support add divide multiply and subtract for the two integers which is pretty basic uh, calculator web service we'll go to the service description here on the link and you can copy the wisdom link from here and paste the url okay and click ok once you click ok in catalon studio it will start the import of those operations and once the operations are finished you will see in the object repository automatically it has created two folders with soap which is soap 1 dot uh, soap 1 protocol and then 1.2 so it created the operations or the methods for add divide multiply subtract for soap 1 and soap 1.2 and now you can reuse these methods accordingly in your test cases and test suite. So let's trigger our first SOAP request. So we'll open the add request. Okay, you double click on the add and it will open the details. So it, here in the drop down, it's showing as SOAP uh, and SOAP 1.2 because it's a SOAP request for version 1. I'll select SOAP and then in the service function you can click on load from wisdom and it will um, load the detail from the wisdom itself now in the soap request what we need to do is we need to provide the so because this is the add request we need to provide the details right so we need to provide the uh, values in the request as well so to provide the value you just go to the request message this uh, request doesn't need any authorization so you can just leave it as is and then go to the request message and here you will see that this is the xml uh, file right this is the xml payload where we need to provide the values of two integers a and b so, and then if we provide these values then send this request we'll get a response whether the 
request has been successful or not and the re result in the response so this is the add request it should return it as a response as an xml file so once you have done these changes that's all you need click on this um, little icon run icon and it will ask do you want to save the changes we'll say okay and it will start running the request and you will see the response with the result it has been displayed so this is pretty formatted and this is the xml format that has been written and at the top in the response you will see that you have the 200 ok which which is the successful message um, sorry we'll go back so this is the successful uh, message from uh, the server and then what time it took and the size of this particular response so in the rest apis what uh, in in the response you can have the xml or the json however in the in the case of say soap it will always be in the form of xml so the response will be always in the form of xml so that is why here you see this is xml response that we have got in the soap uh, response so this is how you trigger your first soap request in catalon studio so don't worry about the details of the rest and soap at the moment i'll create a complete uh, separate series of the web service introduction and the differences between rest and soap and how you can build a lot of understanding around these web services so that will be very helpful rather than clubbing the all of those concepts and details into the catalone studio tutorial so hope you like the tutorial thank you very much for watching